What is going on YouTube? So if you guys have noticed that the lighting looks a little bit different, it's because I'm actually using a new lens and a new light. So if things look a little bit weird, it's because I'm still trying to figure things out and figure out what looks the best. But enough about that. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do another Ben TK transition. And it's going to be the one where he goes through the wall and the sign swings down covering up that last shot. And I believe he uses this technique fairly often, including in his new video. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's just get right into it. Okay, so I'm in Adobe After Effects and I just have two clips here. The first one is just a hyperlapse going backwards and the second shot is just going backwards from a sign. And just a quick tip for any beginners watching out there, if you're looking through your clips and you realize that you don't have a clip going in the direction that you want, such as going forwards or backwards or left to right, just remember that you could reverse the speed of the clip or just flip it and then you'll have the clip going forwards or backwards or whatever direction you like. So that's what I did for these two clips. I was actually going towards them in both of these clips and I just reversed it to have it go in that opposite direction. Okay so first I'm just going to rename these to make it more organized for you guys. I'm going to name the second clip hole in the wall and I'm going to name this first clip as hyperlapse. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply Mocha to this second clip with the sign. So in order to do that, just head up to Effects, go down to Boris FX Mocha and click on Mocha AE. And to launch Mocha, all you have to do is click on this Mocha button. But make sure your clip is set to full resolution or else Mocha is gonna give you a little bit of an inaccurate track. So go ahead and click on Mocha to open that up. All right, so once you're inside Mocha, you could just drag this little playhead down here and find a point where the sign is fully visible, such as here. And then you're just gonna go up here, click on this Create X Blind tool, and you're just gonna create a mask around that sign. Okay, and in order to finish off that mask, just right click. And to make these edges sharp, just go up to this little blue bevel and just drag it all the way out and do that for all the other corners. And to start tracking, all you have to do is go over to this left side and click on this arrow with the T. So that's going to track it forwards. And then once that's done, we're going to head back to that middle and track it backwards. And if at any point in this track, you start noticing that the tracking is starting to get a little bit off target, just stop it there, go back to where it starts getting off target, fix it, and just keep tracking from that point. Okay, so it's done tracking forwards. So I'm going to head back to that same point and you could tell where it is by that little green arrow. And I'm just going to start tracking backwards now. Okay, so the track just finished. And in order to check that track, click on Z to zoom out and just drag down to zoom out. And you can see the borders of that track. And I'm just going to scrub through and see how accurate that track was. And I mean, that's looking pretty awesome. So I'm gonna head up to file, click on save project and head back over to After Effects. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to create a null object. And you could do that by heading over here, right clicking, clicking on new and clicking on null object. And what I'm gonna do with the null object is I'm just gonna take that tracking data that we just did in Mocha and apply it to that null so that anything we parent to that null later on will follow that same motion from that clip. And in order to do that, just click on the hole in the wall layer head down to tracking data and click on create track data and make sure that little gear icon is visible and click on the layer click on ok and then just head down to export option make sure that's on transform and click layer export to the null and go ahead and click apply export and now we're just gonna scrub through and see how that looks. And I mean, that looks perfect to me. So we're gonna move on to the next part. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and create the sign that we can rotate to make it look like it's swinging. So in order to do that, just head over to the hole in the wall layer, click Control D to create a copy of it. And I'm gonna rename that one to sign because that's what it's gonna be. And I'm gonna head to a point where the sign is perfectly in view and perfectly in focus. And I think that's looking pretty good there. So I'm gonna go back to the Mocha and I'm gonna head down to the matte option this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on create AE mask. And what that did was it just created a mask of our tracking that we did in Mocha. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the sign, go up to time and click on freeze frame. And then I'm going to click on M to open up that mask option and just uncheck that mask path. And now if I parent that sign template to the null object, it's going to pretty much look exactly like the normal shot. But it's not going to cut off once we get too close like we did here in the clip. 
Okay, so now we're gonna have to create the hole in the wall. And to do that, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. We're gonna click on this hole in the wall layer and we're gonna head over to Matt and click on create AE mask. But this time we're gonna click on mask and change the mode to subtract instead. So I'm gonna solo this layer and you can see that now we have that hole in the wall. And you could click F if you wanna feather out those edges a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural. Maybe right there is good. And that's pretty much it there. So I'm gonna drag down this hyperlapse layer to the bottom. And if I drag it all the way over here to where that hole starts appearing, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off this sign so we could see. And look at that, that's pretty much the base effect right there. But of course, we're gonna make the sign swing now. So turn back on that layer. And I'm gonna find a point where I want the sign to close. And I think right here is a pretty good spot. And I'm gonna head up to the sign layer. And the next thing we're gonna do is we wanna move this anchor point to where we want the rotation of the sign to be. So what I'm talking about is if I click on R to open up rotation and I rotate it, it's rotating around that anchor point right there. So in order to move that anchor point, just go up here, click on the pan behind tool, and that'll allow you to drag it and drag it to whatever corner you want. So I'm gonna have it rotate right there. So now if I move the rotation, it's gonna rotate around that point. Okay, so go ahead and click on that stopwatch so we can start keyframing things. And I'm gonna head maybe about right here is where I want it to rotate down. So I'm gonna change this to rotate all the way out of the scene so we don't see it. And move a few frames forward and have it rotate maybe a little bit further than that so we can still see the clip maybe over here. So there we go, it swings that way. And then you want each swing to swing less than the last one because it just doesn't make sense physics wise for it to swing past that point. So now this swing should be a little bit less than that last one. So I think that looks about right. I'm gonna have it swing back that way again, but less this time, swing back. A little bit less this time, maybe like that. And there we go, and now it closes. So I'm just gonna play that through and see how it looks. Okay, so that is definitely swinging way too fast for my liking. So maybe I'll delete a few of these keyframes so that I have more space in between. Okay, so I think I got it down to about the speed that I want. So now I'm gonna go ahead and smooth out that motion. So just go ahead and click on all your keyframes and click on F9 to turn them into easy ease keyframes. And from that alone, just playing it through, it looks a little bit smoother. But to make it look even more convincing, we're gonna have to head into the graph editor. And if you guys wanna know more about the graph editor, I go into it a little bit more extensively in my speed ramp tutorial but I'm just gonna quickly kind of go over what I'm doing here. So when it first starts swinging down, I want that part to be faster and that part is related to this first half over here. So I'm gonna click on that keyframe, drag it over to the left a little to make it a little bit faster. And there we go. And then once it's swinging down from this part, that's related to this half over here. So I'm gonna make that one a little bit faster also just by dragging it towards that direction. And I mean, that's looking pretty good to me. You could tweak it as much as you want to make it even more perfect, but I'm not gonna waste too much more time on that. Okay, so even though it's looking pretty good, I wanna add a little bit more depth to the shot to make it look like it's actually going through something. So an easy way to do this is just to head down to this hole in the wall layer and duplicate it. And then I'm just gonna bring it forwards a little bit and then I'm gonna scale it down, click on S to scale it. And now I'm just gonna scale it up a little bit more and actually drag that layer underneath the first layer. And so I'm actually gonna scale it up a little so that it doesn't last too long on screen. And as you can see, it makes it look like there's a little bit more depth to the shot. And next I'm gonna head up to effects, go down to color correction and add a curves adjustment to that layer. 
And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna darken it so it looks less noticeable and it looks kind of like the inside of something. And I'm gonna head over to effects here and I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur just to make it a little bit blurrier so that you don't notice it as much. And just go ahead and increase that blurriness. And I want it to be pretty blurry. Okay, so let's play it through again and see how that looks. Okay, so that's just one way to add a little bit of depth into your shot. And there are multiple ways you can do this. You can actually create a camera layer and move the clips in 3D space and you can find textures online that you wanna use and you can mask holes in them and just add them in between that Z space and keyframe so that the camera goes through those layers as it goes back in Z space and that could also add a little bit more depth to your shot. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some more blurring to certain parts of the shot. So I want the hyperlapse to start blurring around this point. So I'm gonna head over to effects and I'm gonna use the camera lens blur effect. And just drag that onto the hyperlapse. And I'm gonna move back a few keyframes, maybe about right here. I'm gonna keyframe the blur radius, bring that down to zero. Just go forwards a little bit and bring that up to Let's see how it looks actually. That might be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna head back and actually go forwards in time a little bit more, maybe about right here and bring up that blur radius. And I think that looks pretty good. So, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn on motion blur for the sign. So I'm just gonna go over here and click on this button and that should add a bit of motion blur as the sign swings. And that is pretty much how you do the effect, but you could take it further if you like. You could add in some camera shake or add in a speed ramp, but I'm gonna render it out for you guys to see and add in a few sound effects. And that is how you go through walls or whatever you want. And it doesn't even have to be a sign or anything like that. You can just mask out holes in anything and use that as a transition. So as always, if you guys like this tutorial, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.